Hey, here are some animated signs. You can make scrolling text or you can make some animations. For example, this one or this one. You can make the sign rotate. And here's another one. So the way this works, well, obviously I'm using set block. Here's the clock I used. Basically, what happens, this command block sets this air block to a redstone block. And this command block sets the redstone block to air. You can copy that using mcedit or just copy it manually. At the end of this chain, we'll put a different command block. Instead of putting a redstone block over here, it will set a redstone block back at the beginning of the chain. Now you can attach command blocks to that chain. Over here, for example, these command blocks are all the same except for this number, because this number determines the rotation. Now, what if we want to change the text? Well, you're gonna have to add NBT tags. So just add replace and then two curly brackets. Inside the curly brackets, you can add text one, colon, and quotation marks. Inside those quotation marks, you can add anything. If you want to add more lines of text, write down comma, text two, colon, and quotation marks. You can do this four times. There's one problem though. You'll notice that once there's a sign already, the command blocks won't be able to place the sign. That's because set block can only replace blocks with different IDs or data values. You can change replace to destroy, but you'll see these are ugly particles and you can hardly read the text. But don't worry, there's still something we can do about this. Instead of using destroy, we're still going to use replace, but we'll add one command block to the chain. This command block will set the sign to air. This way the sign will turn into air and turn back to a sign with different text, even before you can see it turned into air. And now something about those fancy symbols I used on the signs. Well, I'm on a Mac, so I have this fancy menu with all kinds of Unicode stuff. I can just copy that and paste it into Minecraft. But on a PC, I'm afraid you'll have to look up a Unicode table on the internet. If you can't paste it into Minecraft because it pastes something else you copied earlier, just restart Minecraft and it does work. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Ha! Huh. I think I found another way to freeze mobs. Uh oh, I think my computer just crashed. <laughs>